Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have a very, very big story coming out to talk about. Uh, but by the time I'm recording this video, this story is only like 15, 20 minutes old. Um, but obviously this video is probably not going to be coming out till tomorrow. So it might be a little bit older by the time you see it. But this is breaking, breaking, very, very big news um, regarding one of the bigger players on the market right now. And obviously where he goes is going to have an influence on everyone else in the market as well. You know, we keep hearing about this whole domino situation. And this is a very very, very big domino um, that seems to be falling today. But before we get into that, I just want to mention real quick, if you guys have not already, please check out the first link in the description below for my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. We've been having a ton of fun over there, hanging out, um, having a bunch of good streams recently. I've been very, very active and I would appreciate it if you guys maybe checked it out. Come and hang out with us sometime. Uh, drop a follow, maybe a prime, maybe a sub. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, who we're talking about today is obviously inspired. And this is very, very funny because a lot of people are referencing this old tweet from Rogue. This came on August 13th, 2021. Um, this was right after Rogue qualified for Worlds. You know, they beat Misfits in that five game series and everything was looking good for Rogue. You know, inspired ended the game and the series of the Pentakill. He was popping off. Rogue was looking super, super good. I believe they were the one seed in the LEC playoffs at that time. It was awesome that they clinched Worlds, but people were also expecting them to, you know, maybe make it to the finals, maybe win a championship, maybe go get out of groups at Worlds. Um, and obviously none of that happened, but they did tweet this, you know, he isn't going anywhere. Inspired has extended his contract with Rogue until 2023. Um, he was set to be a free agent. People were saying maybe he's going to go to G2, maybe Fnatic, you know, maybe NA, wherever, but... He was signed for two more years. People were hyped up. People were excited. Um, you know, we finally got to see a guy committing to his team long term. Um, but obviously, that is now becoming somewhat of a meme. Um, you know, Bloop even replied to this no context LOL on November 4th, which was a couple of days ago at this point. Um, but the big story today coming from Jacob Wolf. Yes, this is a wolf bomb. And again, this right now is... 15 minutes old. So I'm right on top of this. I'm getting you guys the latest news, the latest scoops, the latest stories. He tweeted out, Source Rogue is nearing completion of a buyout deal with evil geniuses for inspired LOL. A deal between the two isn't signed, but it's expected to be one of the first completed on November 15th, the night that the free agency window opens. Now, Quick side note, something that doesn't make a ton of sense to me, if you look at the global contract database, a lot of the contracts expire on November 16th or every single contract or whatever. Maybe I'm reading something wrong, but I believe every contract expires on November 16th, but everyone keeps saying that the free agency show, free agency window, whatever, is going to start on November 15th, so... I don't totally understand that. I don't totally get that, but whatever. You know, Jacob Wolf's, you know, off-season show is going to be November 15th that night, and they are expecting Inspired to Evil Geniuses to be one of the very, very first moves of the entire off-season to be completed, and this is obviously a very, very big deal. And not only is this a big deal for Evil Geniuses and Inspired, um, you know, it's cool that Inspired gets to go over to North America. It's cool that Rogue signed this contract extension with him, so now when Inspired leaves, they're actually getting some money back, which is very, very good for a European organization. You know, something uh, they desperately need is, is money. Um, also, I believe Inspired is like 19 years old. I think it says that in his Twitter bio. Um, uh, let's click on, yeah, 19 year old jungler for Rogue. I don't know when that's been updated. Maybe he's turned 20 since then. I don't know. But, um, you know, I think a lot of people are surprised by how young and talented Inspired is. He obviously had a very, very good season. Um, one of the better junglers, if not one of the better players in all of the West for Rogue throughout the season. Uh, and I think Rogue kind of disappointing in the playoffs and disappointing at Worlds was not necessarily Inspired's fault. I think it was more of a team uh, problem. It sounds like uh, Larson and Inspired maybe weren't getting along too well. Um, also with Han Sama leaving the TL, obviously Rogue ended up in this very, very weird spot. But if you are evil geniuses, this is obviously a very, very massive pickup. Again, I believe Inspired is truly one of the best players in the West. And if you can actually build a good team around him and you can have him happy and, and you're able to keep him in North America for a while... That could be massive. He could be a franchise player. He could be somebody that you really build your brand and team around. And that's something Evil Geniuses needs. They need exciting players. They need good players. They need fun players. They need to build a brand. They need to build a fan base. And they need to find some success. You know, just like with Vitality, how they've been talking about the super team for a couple of years now and it never pans out. And it looks like maybe this offseason it'll pan out for them. Maybe not. Who knows? You know, there's uh, rumors of maybe Perks and, and Alfari not working out after all. But... We've also heard memes of uh, the EG super team for the last couple off seasons. Like maybe that's going to work out. Maybe it's not. And it actually seems like, you know, this might 
be working out for evil geniuses for once. And this is a very, very big deal. Now, of course, Inspired is not just going to come to evil geniuses if they're going to have some crap roster. He's only going to come, you would assume, to a very, very good team. You assume he had other offers. You assume Rogue had other offers. Um, you assume that Inspired is really, really excited about what he's coming to. So, I think that also means that Evil Geniuses has some other big moves coming. Now, does that mean Jensen is going to Evil Geniuses in the mid lane? Maybe. It could. Does it mean Humanoid is coming to Evil Geniuses in the mid lane? I definitely think it could. I think this very, very greatly increases the chance of Humanoid coming over. Obviously, Evil Geniuses, um, if they get rid of Ignar and go with the resident support, will have that mid lane position open. I think Evil Geniuses absolutely could end up with a roster of like Impact. Who has been a great was a great top laner in 2021? Impact inspired humanoid Danny Vulcan. I think that's a pretty damn good team with a very very bright future ahead of them, but also enough talent to be very very successful in 2022. Um, also, we know that it seems like Peter Dunn and Evil Geniuses are very very high on JoJo Pune. I don't think that Inspired is coming over to North America to just. Um, you know, play with Jojo Pune right away. So maybe EG will sell him off. Maybe EG will keep him in Academy for one more year. Um, I'm not exactly sure. There is also a world, obviously, where if they go Impact um, Inspired Jensen, that they could uh, go with an import support. I don't know if that would be Mickey. I don't know if that would be, um, you know, potentially somebody else. They could also sell off Danny and go with an import AD carry and go with Vulcan. Uh, you know, Evil Geniuses does definitely still have some other interesting opportunities and possibilities. But man, Snagging one of these guys is a very, very good sign, um, but I don't think they're just snagging one of these guys and then, you know, now saying, oh, guys, now we have inspired and making offers to other players. I think they absolutely have more of their roster, if not the entirety of their roster done, and I think that's why we see inspired coming over there now. Uh, and I mean, if you're North America, things are getting, you know, spicy and scary all of a sudden. You know, TL has a bona fide super team. They are going to be very, very good. Evil geniuses. I'm assuming is going to have something that resembles a very, very strong team. Maybe not exactly a super team, um, but definitely a good enough team to make it to world and, and, you know, potentially be even very, very competitive. You have 100 Thieves as the defending LCS champions who don't seem like they're going to be making a ton of moves or having a crazy offseason, but then all of a sudden you have TSM and Cloud9 who might be lagging behind a little bit. And that would be a very, very crazy world for the LCS to see, uh, you know, EG and 100 Thieves being two of these three teams going to Worlds with Cloud9 and TSM both being on the outside. It would be cool to see some new faces. It'd be cool to see some new teams being successful, some new teams growing their fan base and popularity. But man, it also worries me a little bit that so much of the LCS fan base, popularity, viewership, and, and all that is you know, culminated in the TSM and Cloud9 fan bases. And if those two teams are both middle of the pack in 2022, that's a little bit scary for the future of the LCS. That's a little bit scary for viewership and all these other things. So I hope that TSM and Cloud9 can make some moves and can keep up. Um, but yeah, this banger coming out from Jacob Wolf today that Inspired seems to be headed to Evil Geniuses is a very, very big one. Um, Super, super cool move by Evil Geniuses. Um, I'm, I'm very happy and excited to have Inspired over in North America. I hope he works out. But I also hope that he's not just here for one year. I hope he's here to stay. I hope they're here to build something great. Uh, and if so, this could be a great move. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Tell me, drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think about this move? Uh, do you like Inspired going to Evil Geniuses? Or would you have rather seen him somewhere else? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then... Peace.